Afena Ferrer reacts to Buhari's statement that he will inaugurate Tinubu as president on May 29, 2023. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Following the just concluded 2023 general election that saw INEC announce APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu as the winner after defeating close opponent Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Obi of the Labour Party to become the next president of Nigeria. Also, it should be recorded that both Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar rejected Tunubu's victory, querying, querying, querying the election process and the performance of the INEC, thereby resulting in going to court. Pandev leader Chief Godwin Clark, Afenefere Chief Ayo Adebajo, the Middle Bed Forum, President Dr. Ogum Brutus, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife, a former governor of Anambra State, and Ambassador Oke, the Secretary General of Organizing Dibu Worldwide, all um, made statements in which they criticized President Buhari for publicly announcing that he will inaugurate President elect Bola Tunubu as President of Nigeria on May 29, 2023, and that will not be a repeat of the June 12, 1993 presidential poll saga, saying that Nigeria as a country is a, a democracy and not a military jota. In the statement by the Pandev leader, Chief Godwin Clark, Afina Ferre, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, Dr. Pogo Brutus, the President's Middle Bed Forum, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife, the former Governor of Anambra State, and Ambassador Oke, the Secretary General organizing Dibo worldwide, took a swipe at the open declaration by President Muhammad Buhari's statement issued by his senior special assistant on media and public city, Garabashew, that he will inaugurate the president-elect Bola Tedubu as president of Nigeria on May 29, 2023, and there will not be a repeat of the June 12, 1993 presidential poll saga saying that Nigeria is a country. Nigeria as a country is in a democracy not a military junta. The president has no rights whatsoever to decide who will be sworn into office on May 29, 2023, given to the matter is currently before the judiciary and the president has no known powers to choose for the judiciary who will win the case before her, the leaders claim. The leaders pleaded with the president to refrain from interfering with the judiciary's work so that Nigeria could be freed from any political unrest. They said that his comments are unfavorable and disrespectful to a fair trial, and that they also evaluate the law of the land and intimidate the law justice who will be hearing the case. The leader said that the statement by the presidency should be regarded as an indirect attempt at directing the court as to what it will do on the case. According to the leaders, the president has no right whatsoever to determine who will be sworn into office on May 29, 2023, against the backdrop that the case was currently with the judiciary and the president has no powers to determine for the judiciary who will win the case before her. So guys, what's your take on this? Following the just concluded 2023 general election that saw INEC announce APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu as the winner after defeating close opponent Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Obi of the Labour Party 
to become the next president of Nigeria. Also, it should be recorded that both Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar rejected Tenobu's victory, querying the election process and the performance of the INEC, thereby resulting in going to court. Pandef leader Chief Godwin Clark, Afina Ferre Chief Ayo Adebajo, the Middle Belt Forum President Dr. Pugu Brutus, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife, a former governor of Anambra State, and the Ambassador Oke, the Secretary General of Organizing Digbo Worldwide, all made statements in which they criticized the President, President Muhammad Buhari, for publicly announcing that he will inaugurate the President elect Bola Tinubu as President of Nigeria on May 29, 2023, and that there will not be any repeat of the June 12, 1993 presidential poll saga, saying that Nigeria is a, a country, is in a democracy and not a military junta. In a statement by the Pandef leader, Chief Godwin Clark, Afina Ferre, and Chief Ayo Adebajo, Dr. Pugu Brutus, the President, Middle Belt Forum, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezefe, the former number of states, Governor and Ambassador Oike, the Secretary General, organizing the worldwide, took a swipe at the open declaration by President Buhari. Through a statement issued by his Senior Special Assistant to Media and Publicity, Gerard Shewu, that he will inaugurate President elect Bola Tinubu as President of Nigeria on May 29, 2023 and that there will not be any repeat of the June 12, 1993 presidential poll saga saying that Nigeria is a country, is in a democracy, a, not a military junta. Okay, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out. <music>